guys, what is going on? Welcome back to MT Paradise. So today's video, we're gonna be installing a new exhaust on my Lexus IS. This is just an axle back exhaust. It's not like the entire thing, but it's just uh, obviously the axle all the way back or a muffler delete as some people would call it. You can actually find it on Amazon. There's gonna be a link in the description down below so you can definitely go check that out. It's actually not bad in price. Uh, it is for a Lexus RC as well as the IS. It does not work for the RCF. But I have a Lexus IS200 Turbo. It also works with the 300. There's gonna be like all the years and models down in the description down below. So if you guys want this exhaust, you can definitely go check out and make sure it's eligible for your car and pick it up on Amazon because you can have it here and just like, for me, it was like maybe like a week. Normally stuff takes next day, so it's a little bit longer than normal. But let's go ahead and get started with the install. Got the Lexus kind of situated here in the garage, so I have plenty of room to work with. We're gonna have to raise up the back end here with some jacks and jack stands. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started with that and I'll catch back up with you guys here in a minute. All right guys, so I did go ahead and get the Lexus up in the air. So I got it on a couple jack stands right there. There should be plenty of room to get up underneath there. But I went ahead and unboxed the new exhaust, which I think it looks absolutely amazing. They have this kind of like this blue titanium look or they have just like all silver. So they do have both those options on Amazon. Uh, I wanted to go, kind of go with this look just to give it a little bit of extra color here in the back Especially since the stock exhaust is just so plain. I kind of thought it'd stand out a little bit having the uh, The blue tips there uh, It does come with like the six hangers the four bolts. So whenever you go up underneath here, you can kind of see How big that stock muffler is so all that's coming out This pipe is actually really skinny compared to the new one So it's definitely gonna open it up quite a bit. This thing is pretty darn quiet and I'm sure with this exhaust, it might still be a little quiet, but we will see. But let's go ahead and get to installing this on the car by starting off with pulling the old one off first. All right guys, so now that we are underneath the car, we're gonna go ahead and start pulling off the exhaust. This is towards the front of the car right here, and this is obviously towards the rear. Uh, so first there's gonna be two bolts on each one. They're gonna be located on either side of the exhaust right here and right here. So there is a kind of like a bolt on the top side with a spring. So that is actually a 14, it's actually a 14 millimeter. So we're going to go ahead and kind of get it from like the back side, or I guess technically the front side. And we're going to go ahead and unscrew all four of these bolts. There we go. First one's out. We're just going to go ahead and set that aside. So I did find that if you actually take your, uh, kind of like your ratchet and stick it like straight up, there's actually kind of like a hole that goes up through here and you can actually be able to get some good leverage on it to be able to get off that bolt that's kind of like really hard to get to on the outside. All right, and the final bolt is out. I'm just gonna go ahead and set that aside. And now I'm gonna go ahead and take off these front hangers. They're actually rubber right here. There's a, a seems like a little bar that comes off the exhaust and another one that comes down from the top of the car. So I'm just gonna try to pop this off and then there's gonna be two more towards the end of the muffler, but those have to slide kind of back towards the front of the car. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop this one out first and be careful because this exhaust can fall down and kind of see how wobbly it is right now because it's only being held up by the rubber hangers. So once you pop this out, if your face is right here, it's probably gonna fall down on your face. So definitely be careful. There we go, so I went ahead and got the uh, one hanger down from here and I'm gonna go ahead and come to the back and I'm just gonna kind of pull it kind of towards the front of the car and be able to pop the hangers out on the back side. All right, so I did go ahead and kind of temporarily kind of put that hanger back on just slightly and then I'm gonna come up here and go ahead and kind of loosen these ones here in the back. I'm gonna go ahead and try to pop one off completely and then just loosen the other so that the whole thing doesn't just drop right down and come crashing down here. So let's go ahead and I'll work on this one right here. All right, so I just got one of the hangers off here in the back. Let me go ahead and get the other one. You can kind of like turn the exhaust a little bit to be able to reach up in there and get to it a lot easier. And there we go, just like that. The passenger side exhaust is off. So now we're gonna go ahead and knock out the driver's side. All 
All right, so now you guys can actually see like the extreme difference between the stock OEM exhaust and the new aftermarket exhaust. You can definitely tell this has like a lot more bins in it as well. Whereas this is more of just kind of like you have two major bins and this one has like three. So, I mean, you can definitely tell like the size difference is absolutely crazy. Obviously the exhaust tip difference is going to look a lot crazier. It's kind of weird seeing that all empty and opened up right there. But like I said, this is a crazy difference. But I'm gonna go ahead and get started with installing the new exhaust. I'm gonna go ahead and take the hangers, kind of get those situated on the exhaust, and then I'm gonna be able to put it up into place. Kind of like how I left the hangers on the stock one, and then they just kind of came out with it. I'm just gonna go ahead and pop them onto here, and then be able to stick the exhaust up in the car. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and install the new exhaust. It actually is significantly lighter, and especially since there's no big giant muffler, it's a lot easier to get to the hangers up on the uh, back end of it. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to get the two hangers up on the back. And now, since the back's in, we're gonna go ahead and get this front one in. All right, and there we go. So just like that, we got the exhaust up, got it in place. Now I just have to kind of like adjust it a little bit uh, before we bolt it in. I'm just gonna go ahead and make sure the fitment's good. It can kind of move around a little bit on the hangers as well. So I just wanna make sure that everything looks good before I start getting the bolts put in. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and take the new bolts that it came with. They're actually like a big bolt and then a nut. So I'm gonna take that off. And I am gonna reuse the springs from the previous bolts. So I'm essentially gonna pop that right in there, come in from essentially like the top side and then be able to put the nut on. All right, so before you actually tighten everything down, you definitely want to like kind of turn the exhaust a little bit so you can make sure that the tips are nice and level in the back because you definitely don't want to have like the tips be kind of like all crooked or all weird in the back. So you definitely want them like kind of nice and flat or maybe even slightly angled, but kind of like get the same exact amount. So I'm gonna go ahead and kind of adjust that a little bit and then get these screws tightened. All right, so I did check out the back and I did get the tips kind of situated exactly how I wanted. And then went ahead and came back up here, got them cranked down a little bit tighter. So now this entire driver's side is actually completely done. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and do the same thing on the passenger side and then we'll be complete. But already the tips are looking so good coming out the back. So definitely stay tuned in a few minutes. You guys are gonna be able to like see what the final product looks like as well as hear the before and after. All right guys, and the exhaust is in and I think it looks absolutely amazing. Especially whenever you come around back, you can see like all four of those exhaust tips. And then in like the light, you can kind of see like that blue that looks so good, especially like from the side. I absolutely love the way these things look. And then you're probably never really going to see it again, but this underside looks so much better as well. Like, man, that just looks amazing. It's just so much more open. The pipes are just a lot more direct, like route straight out. And like, I think those look so good. And this exhaust tip setup actually fits really well in the cutout of the rear bumper there, especially since the previous tips actually were like rectangular shape to kind of fill in that space, but this actually sits really good and I think it looks absolutely amazing. So I'm gonna go ahead and drop the car down and we're gonna go ahead and start it up and get a good cold start with the new exhaust. And then I'm gonna go drive it out and about and kind of see what it sounds like because before, the only thing you could hear from in the car was the turbo. So now we're gonna see if we can actually hear the exhaust. And then I'm actually gonna put my Insta360 on the back here. I'm gonna pretty much, I'm probably gonna like stick it to like the back window and have it come out and then angle down. So you guys can be able to like to see the exhaust, and maybe hear the exhaust. And hopefully it actually sounds pretty good, especially on the road. This is my daily driver, so I'm not looking at like making this car like crazy shoot flames, none of that kind of stuff. But I do wanna at least have some kind of a tone to the exhaust. I have no idea what this is gonna do. I have not heard what this sounds like on a IS200 or kind of like the newer version, the IS300. Uh, so we're gonna see what it sounds like and hopefully it sounds pretty good.
America. So I think it sounds absolutely amazing. When it is now kind of like nice and warm, it's at idle. It actually doesn't really sound that loud, but like I didn't want like a crazy exhaust to begin with. So it's actually awesome. We're gonna see what it sounds like on kind of like taking some roads. It is kind of dark out already, but uh, we're gonna head out and see kind of like what it sounds like under load. I did get my Insta360 already hooked up here, which looks absolutely amazing stuck here. But if you guys wanna pick up an Insta360, I think it's definitely worth it and I really hope you guys love the shots I get the, sh the angle is pretty much gonna be from like right here on the roads it's gonna look absolutely amazing the camera the pole as well as this crazy mount is all on Amazon there's gonna be links in the description down below so definitely go down there so you guys can pick up the exhaust with either this kind of like blue titanium looking tip or you can get all silver and definitely insta360 the pole the uh, mount pretty much everything so definitely links in the description down below go pick those up on Amazon But let's go ahead hit the road and see what this sounds like all right So it is pretty dark, but uh, the exhaust I'm going 20 miles per hour. is actually really quiet So let's see what happens here in a few minutes whenever I kind of get out onto the main road and then actually start accelerating here All right, so here we go So it actually has like a nice little hum to it. Uh, you still hear the turbo spooling. There's no burbles or anything, but it actually sounds pretty good. I, I really like this exhaust. So now let me go ahead and throw it into sport mode and see if it sounds any different. Okay, it sounds pretty good. Like, I honestly really like this. It has like a nice little hum. It's not crazy loud and obnoxious, which that's usually my style. Uh, but for this car, that's not really what I was going for. I absolutely love this. Like, it's, it sounds amazing. Wow, yeah, definitely go down. Link in the description down below. Pick this up on Amazon. It does say it's only for the RC, but that's actually false. This, this does work for the Lexus IS and the RC. It's the exact same axle back. So definitely go down, link in the description down below. Go pick it up for yourself. Like, just listen. And this is just a little two liter turbo engine. Like this is actually pretty awesome. All right guys, so let me know what you think of the exhaust. Like I absolutely love these. Like the way they look, the way they sound, it's not crazy loud, it's not wild. It's just like a nice, good, pure, kind of like really good hum to it. And like I said, the looks just look so good, especially compared to those old ones. But yeah, like I am so happy with these. I absolutely love them and I cannot wait to kind of go forward with these and enjoy the heck out of them. All right guys, so definitely let me know in the comments down below what you think of the exhaust on my Lexus IS. I think it sounds absolutely amazing. It's just like a nice, good hum. If this video did help you out with the install, let me know down in the comments down below as well, because I really do love to get uh, feedback, positive or negative. So definitely let me know if you have any questions or issues or anything like that. And I can definitely try to help you resolve that. But this is just like a simple install. There's only four bolts and then six of those little rubber hangers that just literally pop on. But links in the description down below for everything. Turbo resonator as well. The exhaust. 
and Insta360, this camera, the Sony ZV-1. So definitely down in the description down below, check out all those links. But if you guys like this video, definitely hit that like button. Subscribe if you wanna see more videos, especially with my Lexus, maybe some other crazy cars coming. Actually, not maybe, but stay tuned for crazy cars coming in the near future. But like, subscribe, and as always, thank you for watching.